Hello YouTube, this is Metal Trooper 62 here, and I've been hearing a lot of people talking about, uh, you know, doing indoor growing or whatever, so, <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, but the place at the reptile shop that my buddy owns, we also do indoor growing stuff, but uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a, an overview of that. A lot of people have been talking about wanting to do this stuff, so I'm going to kind of give you a rundown on uh, some of the stuff available. So first, we'll just go through some uh, specialized soils and nutrients, and this right here is bat guano, or bat poo poo. And there's different types, uh, different numbers. There's Mexican guano, Mexican guano, Peruvian. And we got bone meal, just different types of stuff. And, uh, but, uh, different guanos and everything. And, uh, different types of soils. We do a lot of organic stuff. Worm casings. And some happy frog soils. These are real popular. And it's just like a plethora of different types of, uh, you know, for whatever plants. And these are peat pellets to start your seeds in and everything. Peat trays, peat pots. And these are our larger bags of soil. Those are 60 pound bags. And this right here is probably one of our top selling soils is this ocean floor potting soil. It's all natural and organic. And then we got cocoa fiber stuff. Humboldt nutrients. This is hydro clay. It's kind of like hydroton. It's expanded clay balls. This right here is expanded shale. They heat shale up to you know 2,000 degrees and it puffs up. This is real good. Everything. And your typical vermiculite and perlite. Everything. And then we have small compost kits. Stuff like that. Big bags of ProMix BX. And then lighting for your high pressure sodium and metal halide lights. And everything. Bamboo steaks, heating mats for your seedlings, cloning, net pots in the dark, five gallon buckets, different size pots, more netted pots for hydroponics, and seed trays. This is a tray. Potting, put your pots in. Those are little domes, or a, like a little miniature greenhouse type thing. And all these are nutrient, liquid nutrients for hydroponic or soil. Um, the directions will say, you know, if you want to use it for hydroponics or soil. So. But there's just so, so many different types. It's best to do your research and everything if you're planning on doing this. But this is very, very, very decent stuff to do. But I know we have a few customers that actually do hydroponics in their basement and they sell their produce to higher end restaurants for, you know, the organic factor. But just a little bit of everything. Go a little bit slower. And just more nutrients. Like I said, there's just a plethora of different stuff. The big six gallon jugs of it. More stuff. 
This earth juice, these are organics also. And then we have pH adjustments for different plants. Different plants like different pH. And that's another thing you need to research the type of plants you're using for vegetable or fruiting trees or whatever. They like different pHs and everything. Just there's some cloning solution or root start. More cloning solution. It's for cleaning out your hydroponic reservoirs, which you should do fairly often. This is plant stuff, molasses, molasses, BioThrive. This stuff's been around for years, decades. And uh, this guy kind of looks like Dark Dirk Kevorkian, don't he? <laughs> then there's more. There's Soil Mender line is real popular. And just more and more stuff. You know, like I said, this is just kind of a quick overview. I might do a video later on how to do it. And then these are like your pesticides, your natural pesticides and stuff. And if you're actually, you know, going to eat it, you want to spray, you know, chemicals all over your food if you're going to eat it. Different fruit fly traps. White fly traps. Or this. This stuff made from seaweed, cold processed seaweed, and get cold processed squid, biomarine. Just tons and tons of stuff. Calcium and magnesium additives. Four plus. And stuff to make your fruit sweeter. Which, I haven't tried this stuff, but it seems pretty gimmicky. stuff to make sure your fruit and stuff more delicious I guess and there's more molasses type stuff which adds add to the soil it helps uh, the soil and the beneficial bacteria give them something to eat This stuff right there, black diamond, it's liquid humic acid. Very, very good. Very good stuff. And then we have these grow slabs. Actually, basically just take these, you can poke holes in them, and uh, just plant your plants in there. And you just soak these with water and the plants grow right out of here. Very, very easy. And you could also do vertical vertical grow, like, you know, stand them up and everything. But we have those in different sizes. And then starter cubes. It's basically like a rock wool type of stuff. And then more of the... The rock wool stuff or Groden. That's what this stuff is, Groden. And this is the stuff to condition your your rock wool and your Groden to give it the right pH. And these are more starter plugs. These are made out of uh, crap. These are made out of uh, like trees or or something or ground up or whatever coconut. Fiber there. It's uh, made from naturally composted tree bark. That's what it is. And we have 
the lighting, which can get pretty expensive. And these are T5s, fluorescents. And you have these big compact fluorescent hoods. Yeah, the only thing you you want to point out, you know, the UV will this. expire after eight months, so that the new user will buy one of those. The outer metal halide and okay. high pressure sodium lights. And then more larger hoods for depending on what size of area you're working with. These are some big old huge hoods right there. That's for a very, very large program. And these are the the light fixtures right here. We have different sizes. More hoods. And we have the mylar for reflective for your grow room. Everything. And we have the hydroponic trays for your reservoir. We have those in all different sizes. Grow tents, similar to this one right here, and uh, <laughs> oh, that's fine. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there's always some good stuff back there. <laughs> but yeah, that's an artichoke that's in there. I'm about to go artichoke. Looking out that back door. And more lights, high pressure sodiums, and metal halides for the hoods I just showed you. All different sizes. 250 watt, 400 watt, 600 watt, 1000 watt. And those are the big compact fluorescents, 125 watt complex, compact fluorescents. And then miniature gardens right there, the rainforest, eco-grower, different strip lights, stuff to hang your lights on, more fluorescents, another garden, this is a micro garden, it's pretty popular, and then turbo garden. And this is basically one of them hoods we set up to test people's lights and everything. And these are the ballasts. And some of this, like I said, some of this stuff can get really, really pricey. So it's best to do your homework and find out what your budget is. But, yeah, that's pretty much everything in a, in a nutshell. And these are really cool. We just started carrying these water safe. These are water test kits. They test for bacteria, pesticides, chlorine, hardness, pH, and iron. We have rooting hormone, rooting hormone, pH pens. And I get some books. These are really good. Hydroponics our gardening and everything so yeah thanks for watching and yeah, this is metal trooper 62 yeah I'm on a way. Yeah, have a good one like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff and dr kevorkian says see ya